Okay, so we've had a new release of Raspberry Pi OS and quite a few changes have been made and I thought I'd test it on this version of KDE Plasma and see how well it works because this is based on Raspberry Pi OS. So let's apply all the updates that are in here. So we're now using the LabWC compositor and that goes across all of the Raspberry Pis. Uh, so they're all more consistent and it should mean better performance as well. So let's copy all of this. And paste that in and this next one quite a few updates to do anyway and yes oh dear it stopped with an error let's try that again okay well it worked that time so let's reboot Okay, so that's worked. It's always had this graphical glitch here that occasionally flickers up. Let's try it just by logging back in. Okay, that's a bit slow. Oh dear. Yeah, no mouse control. I reckon that's crashed. Okay, let's turn it off. If I click down the bottom left here and uh, let's go LabWC Wayland. Let's try and log in with that. Okay, so that's the normal, well, I say normal, that's not the normal Raspberry Pi OS, but it's something similar. Let's do those other changes while we're here. So to switch to the new screen configuration, we run this. And yes. And let's copy this one, raindrop. Let's paste that in and we'll do this one as well, squeak board, which is the on-screen keyboard. And yes. So let's have a look through the comments. After upgrading four Raspberry Pi 5s this morning, switched to LabWC, all four Pis rebooted and came up with blank screens. <laughs> A lot of people having problems. Okay, let's just try shutting down and starting up again. And we'll try a different desktop environment. So it looks like there's no KDE Plasma version on LabWC. I'll try this desktop and see what it does. Yeah, just Raspberry Pi OS desktop. I mean, at least it's booting and everything. Uh, let's shut that down again. Let's pick something which has Plasma. So this one, Plasma Wayland, and also Wayfire Wayland, and we've got Plasma X11 as well. So let's go for this one first. Okay, and that's the one that freezes. So switch off. Okay, let's try the next one. So Wayfire Wayland. At least we've got options. So no KDE there. Let's shut that down. So it's really going to be Plasma X11. Hopefully this works, because if it doesn't, then uh, my KDE Plasma needs some fixing. Uh, so let's give it a go. I have resorted to this before when I had problems with YouTube. And it worked back then. That's loading fine. Looking good. Wallpaper's there. Yeah, all the menus and everything are there. Okay, so for the moment, that's going to be the fix. So things should still work the same. So if I start, say, P Sensor. You can see that that works. So let's try Chrome web browser, see if that works. And let's just go YouTube, the PSP video 4K. Let's just see if that's gonna play, not necessarily in 4K. Just plugged in my headphone adapter and the audio is working and the video is working. Let's have a look at stats for nerds. So it's running at 720 at the moment. Let's just go for 1080, which did work before. And it looks like it's holding on to it all right. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be dropping any frames significantly. So at least that's working somewhat. Discover store, is that still working? 
Yeah, and PyKiss, and also PyApps. Yeah, that's working. So, I mean, it probably needs some more testing. So for now, the option is to pick Plasma X11 if you're using my version of KDE. I just wanted to see if I could get it back up and running again. Uh, it's still running KDE Plasma. The apps I've tried are working. Let me know if you've had any problems with it. But I'll have a look and see if LabWC is possible with KDE Plasma uh, when I've got a bit more time. I've got a few more videos I've got to do. But in the meantime, KDE Plasma is back up and running somewhat. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.